تاتا تاتا اليوم اترم على كل سمك زلاطة تاتا تاتا اليوم كل سختك اشعل بالشخاطة We have people trying to report me. Man, some of you guys need to just leave me alone. You guys need to leave me alone. This is why I can't go live. You guys always try to get security on me. And I do nothing. I think it's fucking ridiculous how anybody could just call and say, Hey, I know where Daniel is. He's fucking famous. Get him out. And you guys will literally do that. I hope people are taking screenshots of the chat. Oh, dang it. Grace messaged the chat one time. I need to make sure that I didn't block you. Okay, this is getting wild fast. 
You guys are to call me by my real name, which is Daniel Larson. You are not to call me by Danny. I only let certain people call me that. Oh. Hey, what's up? Uh, Yo, man. hi. What's going on? Um, nothing. Uh, uh, yes. Commander Cooper with the Black Hawk Police Department. Uh, yeah. Can I, uh, can I see your phone? Do you have any yeah, weapons uh, on you or anything? Um, I don't. Okay. Can I ask? You could, could I have you turn around and we're just going to patch down for weapons, all right? Uh, sure. been diagnosed with anything else besides autism and ADHD? Uh, no. I don't go very often. How did that appointment go? It went okay. And, and was this your uh, general practitioner doctor or was it, it was, a it was, it was at a uh, psychiatric uh, okay. hospital. I went for a week and their final <laughs> diagnosis was kind of stupid, but it was singer-songwriter psychosis or psychosis or whatever. Uh -huh. And it's because they didn't believe that I have a career in entertainment. And so, Your YouTube channel. Exactly. And they kind of trolled me a little bit with the YouTube channel. And then ended up, I guess, saying their final diagnosis was singer-songwriter psychosis. Or psychosis because in the end they didn't even know what. Like, they couldn't see anything. Right. Me. Have you been drinking or are you under the influence of any kind of... Alcohol, medication, drugs. No, I don't do drugs. I don't do alcohol. Did you ever find out who did the other, other hacks? Um, I have, like I said, couple, couple suspects. Um, there's somebody that goes by the name of Goaded Minds, but I don't know his like real name because he's using a secondary name. Issues like that. Um, all I know is that um, there's a possibility that um, a couple of the trolls or the people that are hacking my accounts, they, there's a possibility that they go to like see university because I got trolled into signing up to go to see university. And after two days of me 
supposed to be doing classes, the trolls that go to CU University got me banned from the school. So my guess is... Had you spent time on the university campus? I did, yeah. I was actually already signed up for the university, and I was starting classes in less than a week, and I was there setting everything up, going through their application process. So you, you, you applied to go to school? I applied, yeah. And but I you was, weren't actually a student there? I was, um, I was a student, but I don't, didn't start classes until Monday. Did you, have the, the fun, did you have the finances worked out on how to pay for those classes? I got a scholarship. Where? Um, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders gave you a scholarship? Deion, yeah, Deion Sanders gave me a scholarship, and it was supposed to be a $10,000 scholarship. <laughs> what, why would Deion Sanders give you a scholarship? I really don't know. Um, he wanted me to try out for his football team for next year. But I turned it down and said I want to do entertainment. Um, entertainment business is what I said I wanted to do. And he kind of was like, okay. And that's about all I know. As far as why he wanted to do the scholarship, he never really said. Okay. Again, it's, it's all these weird threats are coming out, and I know you're saying you're not making Can I just confirm that you don't have anything in your bag, like a big bomb? Or, yeah, or, no, again, you, you can check okay Daniel, just let you know, you are hereby banned from the lodge of the Gilpin. Okay. You can no longer come to the lodge or the Gilpin. If you are on property, you will be arrested for trespass. Okay? Right. These folks are hurt. Do, don't want you back in the mayor's okay. They're going to give you some paperwork to tell you. Okay. We just have to make sure that we protect all of our guests and employees that work here at all times. Um, so with everything that was brought to our attention, I do have to issue the 60-day trespass so you can be able to come back until mid Date at the bottom, please. Really, should you go ahead and get your phone? I really recommend that you shut down your live stream. Okay, I will do that. And then, um, and, and again, before you tell me what your number is, you need to shut that down so not everybody's going to hear your number. Yeah, I will do that. I, I will check my backpack one more time, but yeah. Nope. <clears throat> they actually did give it to me, but they put it in with like another compartment and it was way at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, oh, sorry. You're all good. <laughs> After I got into the ambulance last night and they took me to the hospital, I asked the uh paramedics for the police report and what it said and they showed me the paper that was the police report that they gave the paramedics so the police gave the paramedics I guess the police report so I was put on an M1 hold last night And the reason for the um, hold last night was, hello, so the reason for the hold last night was apparently they were saying that I was holding um, Grace hostage at the casino, which isn't true at all. Um, but that's what they were claiming was that I was holding uh, people hostage. It was ridiculous. Um, but that was the report that came out from the police. And they also, once again, said that I was lying about... Um, me basically signing up for CU. The university called me a liar and said that I don't even have what it takes to even do such a thing. So, 
I do have to say that I completely disagree with what the police are doing. Fuck them. They're a bunch of little ends. And yes, I am going to say they're a bunch of niggers. Okay? But I absolutely hate the police, okay, for what they're doing. And I would never hold anybody hostage. Never. So, um, never in my life will I hold anybody hostage. Okay. Also, the report never said anything about threats at all in the report. What the report ended up saying was that I was on a live stream and they were getting reports of me holding somebody hostage. Basically, it seems like I'm being targeted because they were claiming that I was holding Grace Vanderwall hostage. Um, so, very, very ridiculous. Um, it was a legal M1. So, even if I tried to fight the police and not go on the M1 hold, the police would be able to arrest me at that point for a uh, failure or whatever. I forget what they call it, but they could basically say I'm not following their rules. Okay, and I could get in more legal trouble. But yeah, at this point, what the police are doing is they are putting up stories, trying to incriminate me, and that's not okay. Especially if they are saying that I'm holding people hostage. Like, what the fuck? That actually makes me angry, and if the police do want to continue to escalate this, I will.